Slim. Welcome to Sarah Slims. I'm Sarah. If this is the first time here, this uh, channel is about weight loss and I'm documenting my weight loss journey. Um, I hate the word journey. I can't think of another word I can use instead. But anyway, um, so we've just had Christmas and New Year. Well, it's Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve today. And at this time of year, I have a week off uh, usually and I like to review what I've done in the previous year and what I plan to do next year. Um, January just coincides. It used to be that, oh yeah, I do this at January, but to be honest, you can do it any time and I review regularly throughout the year. So here we go. So over the last year, um, I'm, I'm reviewing purely just my food and exercise and see how I did and what I can do better next year. So this year, I think I've done really well. I've done loads of changes, lots of habits to do with my food. Um, I've really got to grips with the binge eating issue. And um, I think a big part of that is because I'm eating so much veg and beans and, and things with the starch solution that my body now has more nutrition. And so I don't feel the need to go for the junk stuff so much. Um, a big revelation is over Christmas, when I went back to eating the junk, because it's Christmas, I didn't enjoy it. The, it didn't taste as good to me and, you know, vegetables are a lot, lot more tasty. Uh, I enjoyed the food that I made from scratch, like I made lentil, it wasn't lentil, it was nut roast from scratch. Um, I did make some mince pies with my mum and my mum did the pastry and we both made the mince meat and stuff and th that was really nice. But anything I bought that was from a shop, anything processed, I just didn't eat the usual stuff. I just didn't really enjoy it that much after the first few chocolates and stuff. So that's huge for me because now I feel like, oh, cool. I don't feel massively bound to that stuff. But I've already got a plan in place for next Christmas, which is to just make my own, make new traditions, make new Christmas food. It's all going to be homemade. So over the next year, I will be looking out for homemade Christmas food. Um, so yeah, food wise, I think I've done really, really well and it's become a habit. It's uh, so I'm, I know what I'm doing there. I'm doing the 50 50 plate and when I'm sticking to it really well, it goes really well. Like when I first started between April and June of uh, last year, it was going gangbusters. It only kind of faltered a bit and I was going up a few pounds down a few pounds because of holidays, but also because I've got into a bit of a habit of getting, um, going to Marks and Spencer's on a Sunday and getting like yogurts and stuff. They're not massively, terribly unhealthy, but they're not the healthiest thing and they're certainly not starch solution compliant. So that's going to stop from next year. So food wise for next year, I'm going to be a lot more stricter on the starch solution. The other thing I'm going to do is exercise. So um, Dr. John McDougall that created the starch solution says that you don't have to go crazy with exercise, but do stuff that you enjoy doing and go for a walk. So that's what I'm going to do is uh, I, in the past, I've done CrossFit in the past until I hurt my back. I really enjoyed it. But I enjoy, if I'm honest, I enjoyed the social aspect and also the challenge. You challenge yourself a lot with CrossFit and I enjoy overcoming the challenge. So um, I'm just going to take it easy. I'm going to do exercise I like, such as I like going swimming in the sea and I like going for a walk. Um, but I'm going to make sure it's regular. So I'll go for a walk every day. I like running, but with my back, I haven't been able to for a few years. So hopefully by this time next year, who knows, maybe my back will be better and I can do a bit more running. Um, so I need to get some more stretching in there, maybe some Pilates in there, strengthen my back a bit. So food wise, starch solution, exercise wise, yeah, like I've just said, uh, weighing. So the other thing I've noticed over the last year, well, since I started the starch solution, is I'm weighing myself way too much. I'll weigh minimum once a week, sometimes more often, and I don't think it's very healthy. It means I'm concentrating on the numbers more than on the steps you need to take to achieve the goal. So the goal is to lose fat. I don't care if I weigh 12 stone, if I'm the right percentage of fat for my height. Within a healthy weight range, I'm gonna be around 10 and a half stone, which means I've got like three stone to lose, basically. So um, yeah, I've got around 47, three stone, 47 pounds to lose. And 
I'm aiming to lose that this year. So this time next year, I want to be sat here going, I did it, I've lost all the weight. I'm now within a healthy weight range. Either next year or the year after, because I don't really want to put too much of a time scale on it as long as I keep working towards that goal. So now we've got Christmas out of the way, I feel very much like, yes, I have nothing in my way whatsoever. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I want to reduce my weighing on the scales down to about one a month. But I'll start off with probably in January. It's, I'm going to aim for once a fortnight, but I don't want to set myself up to fail, so it could well be weekly. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I didn't weigh for a good couple of weeks over Christmas, and then I weighed today. Whew, that was a bit of a shock. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to weigh less. Okay, so that brings us to stats, statistics. So, the last time I weighed, the last time I vlogged, I was 183 pounds. Today, which is pretty much 13 stone, today I weighed, it's New Year's Eve, I weighed today and I'm 194 pounds. Uh, so I've put on 11 pounds, but that's over Christmas, which it's gone on fast, hopefully it'll come off fast. It's mostly going to be water weight and, um, you know, eating a lot of salty and processed foods, your body tends to hold on to water. So I'm really hoping that's going to be gone. Um, so, uh, very quickly, hopefully by mid-January, but we'll see. So, um, over the next few weeks, what I'm planning to do is recording how I'm doing, uh, show me doing the walking, show me, you know, making some new recipes and, uh, passing on all the information to you, uh, and let you know how I get on. Uh, so thanks for watching today if you did. Today is review and planning if you are also like to review and plan that's fab if you'd like to join along and, and see what i'm up to on my on my weight loss journey that's brilliant uh and uh yeah i'll see you in a couple of weeks with the results yeah so if you'd like to join in that would be awesome i'd love to hear from you uh you can comment below uh and also if you like and subscribe and all that jazz uh you'll get to get my videos as soon as they come out Okay, thanks very much. Bye.